I need to move on because the story I'm going to tell you now is going to make your skin crawl. Dozens of women have come forward in West Bengal, Sandesh Kali district to claim that there was institutionalized sexual affrontery at the hands of local TMC Kada. Most of the accusi accusations have been made against the cronies and kin of a local TMC leader. This is the same individual who was caught up in the eye of a storm when the enforcement directorate officials raiding his home were brutalized. You will remember those visuals, viewers. You will remember those visuals where ED honest officials landed up to raid this person's premises and they were beaten black and blue, beaten back. Viewers, the women, most of them self-help group workers, have alleged that they were summoned at odd hours of the night by the cronies, the henchmen of this TMC leader under the pretext of meetings organized to discuss strategies for program implementation, but then systematically molested. I will read to you some of these testimonies, viewers. I didn't have the heart to play them on video. One woman says, they used to call us for meetings. Our husbands were not called. Some of us cooked and a section of women, including me, were told to stay back. They would pull my sari and touch me inappropriately. I kept quiet because I knew what would happen if I protested. Another woman said, viewers, a list was kept of those who failed to turn up for meetings. Once I could not attend because of my health and my husband was beaten up at the market. Viewers, imagine. A husband knows that his wife is being called in the middle of the night. He can't do anything about it because he will be perhaps beaten, brutalized, maybe even murdered. His wife can't do anything about it because she fears that not only will the husband be brutalized, but perhaps other members of her family. Another woman says, we used to get summons at 10 p.m. at night. They would touch us whenever, wherever they like and pull at our saris. I went through that so many times and I'm not alone. Here's the reason these women didn't speak up is because who could they have complained to? They felt that even if they had gone to the police, the police being of course most often viewers under political directions would have reported back to the molesters that these women had come forth and they would have of course been again set upon. Another woman said they were changing our land from agricultural to fisheries. When we said no, we were beaten up and had to apologize to them. After that, we could never say anything. Another says my grandson was forced to work for them. They did not pay money, but gave him a gun and a lati and told him to extort money. I sent him to Delhi, but I'm still afraid. Viewers, one would have thought that the state administration would have taken this very seriously. One would have thought that an independent commission of inquiry would have been instituted under a judicial magistrate, a sitting one, or a demand would have been made, or even an external agency would have been called in. But Mamta Banerjee, who finally broke her silence on this matter, instead of standing with the women, has chosen to suspect their motives. This even as her government has instituted a CID probe into the allegations. Won't Mamta's words prejudice this probe? Don't they summarily give the accused the benefit of doubt? And most importantly, where are the members of the left ecosystem that have attacked the union government in the past or the BJP in the past for not heeding the pain of women wrestlers, for instance, who were allegedly tormented by a federation boss who was also a BJP leader and member of parliament? Viewers, before I ask those questions, let's listen to Mamta Banerjee. <laughs> स्टेट कमिशन पार्टी थी, आमादे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पार्टी थी, छत्रों जोन के एरेस्ट करा हुए थे, ये बंग आपने ना देखे चें, जारा मुखे मास्क पड़े पड़े छोभी तूल चें, धोराओ पड़े चें, बीजेपी के कोडमी, कि भावे तारा बाईजे से के निये चें, एक ते हेला का के असंत करा चेस्टा करे चें, आगे टारगेट शिक्षा जान, 
ওকে টার্গেট করে ইডি ঢুকলো তারপরেই সবাইকে বার করে দিয়ে তারপরে ওখানে আদিবাসী মাইনরিটিজের মধ্যে ঝগড়া লাগিয়ে দিল মহিলা টিম আছে ওখানে পুলিশেরও একটা মহিলা টিম আছে ঘরে ঘরে যাচ্ছে কার কি অভিযোগ শুনতে শুনে এসে রিপোর্ট করার পর যদি কারো প্রবলেম থাকে সেটা নিয়ে নিশ্চয়ই আমরা কাজ করব আগে তো আমাকে জানতে হবে ব্যাপারটা কি অন্দেশখালী আজকে নতুন নয় ওখানে আর এস এর একটা বাসা আছে সাত আট বছর আগেও দাঙ্গা হয়েছিল ওখানে কতগুলো দাঙ্গা স্পটের মধ্যে এটাও একটা স্পট মনে রাখবেন Viewers, irony has died a thousand deaths today. Let's open this up. Let's go straight across to Tawseef Khan, who is uh, going to be speaking up for the TMC today. Tawseef Khan, it's a simple question. A few months ago, in fact last year, the TMC, the Congress, other members of the opposition, the India bloc, etc., they all showed up in the union capital. They made their way to Jantar Mantar. where they put their arms around women wrestlers and they said india must listen to their pain india must investigate this the bjp needs to ensure that the main culprit the then accused should be removed from the ranks purged that viewers the opposition said the prime minister must step down the minister of sport must step down and today that same mamta banerji tawseef khan is not willing to listen to these women and is saying that these women are actually disguised rss workers have we got absolutely no sense of proportionality here after the indignity allegedly heaped upon them you want to also heap injury aren't the double standards so glaring tawseef saab respond please Rahul, you see the situation in Sandesh Khali escalated when the cases of arsoning and riot came into fall. There were a uh, poultry farm which was burned down and violence took the way. Mamata Banerjee took a swift action. Administration was sent, police deployment made. And in order to address all the grievances of the ladies... in sandesh khali a special team of police team of 10 member police team was set up with the sp rank with with a dsp rank officer a lady officer leading that team and this team is going door to door engaging in a conversation with the local families there and investigating the incident uh, um, uh, giving ear to their to their accusation and allegations and carrying out the investigation accordingly also state women commission was deputed was dispatched by mamta banerji government they have also visited the site and submitted their report there even today mamta banerji spoke inside the house mm-hmm. inside the assembly that there is a conspiracy on the occasion of the saraswati puja there was a conspiracy mm-hmm. to uh, to create law and order situation right that there is a group there is a rss group active over there hmm. and there has in in the past also hmm. there was case of rights right so on the pretext of you know the predicament of the women mm-hmm. uh, the state government cannot allow the any group hmm. to take law in their hand of course and to create to create disturbance of course the uh, resort resort into arson and rioting of course and to create danga in the in the of course of course, of course of course what 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 a great administrator viewers the same yes. tmc rss so, one second one second the same tm the same tmc supports the farmers who have taken the law into their own hands and decided to block train tracks today viewers over what over some maximalist demands farmers are not no, no, criminals one second just one second just one second sir the law says you cannot block any trains you could be angels but the law is greater than every angel okay you talked about law i didn't you said she is upholding the law how can she allow anyone to run riot well then don't support rioters when it comes to other states hypocrites 
Viewers, I always speak my mind. In the first debate, I spoke my mind. In this debate, I'm going to speak it. I'll tell you, viewers, the problem with what this gentleman is saying to us, Tosif Khan. He says that a 10-member cell of the police has been set up. Now, viewers, these are the first people who say that, oh, look at the forces around the country under the BJP. They're all completely mobilized to do what the BJP wants to do. The ED is also mobilized to do it. So by that yardstick, viewers, the police in Bengal must be also mobilized. It's not as if Mamta Banerjee wears some special halo around her head that Mr. Modi doesn't have. Either we trust all our politicians, viewers, or we trust the system. What would have been better? You appoint a judicial magistrate, sitting one, to hold an inquiry, or you move court requesting for a court-monitored CBI inquiry, central inquiry, because the charges are grave. Court After has all, already one second, taken sir, action One second, this. one second. Why would no, the no, court have to the, take the action? High court, no, no, one second. I haven't finished. Court, Mr. Tosif Khan, I high haven't court finished. Taken action I, and asked because for the report. Obviously, because it saw they that nothing was report. being done. So no, it had are, to step in. But just one minute, just one minute. I'll tell you, the report will be provided, viewers, by the same people who are defending the same interests, who are appointed by the same government. At the heart of it is conflict of interest. You see, viewers, that's why in so the Gujarat... Trust Mamta uh, can you let you me, trust can you let me speak? Can you let me speak? I never interrupted you, sir, when you spoke. I gave you full, full play. Now, let me speak, sir. Because there are certain fundamental things that I'm saying, because I'm being very honest tonight. Viewers, in the Gujarat riots, what was the big claim? That the Gujarat government can't be investigating its own self. So... Petitions were filed before the Supreme Court to set up an SIT which was monitored by the Supreme Court. Why, viewers? Why would that be the case? Here the court has stepped in because it is seen a reluctance. Okay. Now, viewers, he says that a 10-member team has been asked to investigate and they're going house to house. Have they submitted their probe report? No, viewers. But Mamta Banerjee in the house is standing up and saying that all these women are RSS workers. Do you think any of those 10 policemen who get their salaries from the exchequer of the Bengal government are going to say, Mamta Banerjee, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? That's why you don't send spokespeople to this show. Enough of your fooling. Enough of your fooling the nation. You apply the same yardstick then to that other chap. The, so member, of parliament, the member of parliament, the member of parliament, who, the member of parliament who was being government. attacked by, the member of parliament who was being accused rather, by women wrestlers. The government said exactly the same thing at that time. There was a conspiracy. In fact, that chap also came out and said, viewers, to all of us, conspiracy ho raha hai mere khilaf. Viewers, you can't change the definition of law just because it's not your state. The West Bengal BJP, let me bring you in, sir, Saurav Sikdar. How would you respond today to Mamta Banerjee, who has come out and said that these are RSS agents? Uh, Rahul, I just want to ask you one, no, no, one simple second. question. No, one, I haven't finished my question. Yeah. And number two, why please, shouldn't please. we believe? Why shouldn't no. we believe Mamta Banerjee when she said these are RSS agents? After all, that is exactly what the BJP also said when it was defending the Federation Chief of the Wrestling Federation of India, when women wrestlers were making the same allegations. In fact, he's back as Federation Chief and his son is number two. Mr. Sikdar. Yes. I, I just have a small question. That even that women are RSS uh, supporters, are they allowed to be raped? To be used like this? Sexually harassed? See, today Mamta Banerjee has outrightly rejected the such crime against women in Chandrasthal. This is more ghastly crime that has inflicted the goals of the community by rejecting the plea of the woman. She has rejected any scope of investigation. The rejection of Banerjee should be checked by the civil society. Now, the name of the civil society, nothing exists independently in West Bengal, sir. Now, you know, a village women 
are uh, 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 villagers. I mean, they are. They may not be very educated. Or they, they they may not be so uh, upcoming. When they came and speak out about their dignity, uh, it is something to think, sir. And when Mamta Banerjee defending Shahjahan, well, in, let uh, me tell you, in, viewers. In, let me tell you, there is a problem here, and that is of trust. Trust is broken, and that poultry farm that was burnt was burnt by frustrated women, who realized they were getting no justice. So let's not make this about some big law and order issue. Yes, take action against them, put them behind bars if you want for their act of desecration. But for God's sakes, give them back their dignity via justice. Don't make a mockery of justice, and don't run away from anchors when they ask you questions directly.